Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. In Jeremiah chapter 36, we read about an occasion where the prophet said he was under restriction. No, he wasn't under lockdown, but the problem was God had told him to declare a, a, a prophetic message in the temple of the Lord, and Jeremiah was banned from the temple because his prophecies were not the prophecies that the rulers of the nation wanted to hear. Uh, they wanted to hear something nice and soothing, and he was bringing a, a word of, of judgment. Now, it was a word that God wanted people to receive the word and repent so the judgment would not come upon them, but it was a word that was being rejected. And so because he was restricted himself and could not go into the temple, he sent his scribe, Baruch, and he got Baruch to write down the prophecy. And Baruch went into the temple and read out the prophecy. And again, it, it nearly caused a riot. And the temple rulers, they said, man, look, you, Baruch, you, Jeremiah, you got to go and hide because the king is going to go come looking for you. And so the rulers of the temple, they then took the prophecy that Baruch had written down and that the scroll that he had read from, and they brought it to king, the king, King Jehoiakim. And he was in his winter apartment. It was the ninth month of the year. And so he was in his winter apartment. He had a, a fire burning in a brazier in front of him. And as they read out the prophecy, every few verses after they had read it, he would cut it with a knife and burn it in the fire until the entire prophecy was, was gone. And you know, there are people who do that with the word of God. They cut out the bits that they don't like. They cut out the bits that are inconvenient. Years ago, there was a movie and a book from Al Gore called An Inconvenient Truth. It was about climate change. But irrespective of your view on climate change, the Bible is sometimes an inconvenient truth. There are times whenever people don't want to hear the word. They don't want to hear what it's saying. And so they cut out the bits that they don't like and they just concentrate on the bits that make them feel warm and fuzzy inside. But, you know, God says that we have to declare the whole counsel of God. And to declare the whole counsel of God, we need to receive the whole counsel of God. I would encourage you to read through the books of the Bible. Have a plan for reading the Bible. There are plenty of plans out there where you can read it in a year. Uh, the whole Bible through in one year. If that doesn't work for you and you want to read it a bit faster, a bit slower, that, that's fine. But develop a systematic plan for reading the Bible. Not just turning to the bits that you know or that you heard a sermon on recently, but all of it. The uncomfortable bits, the challenging bits as well. Don't be like King Jehoiakim because he ended up with a judgment upon him. And that judgment was that none of his descendants would ever sit on the throne of Israel again. That, that was a, a dreadful thing for a king to hear. But that was the judgment on King Jehoiakim because he picked the bits of the word that he didn't want to receive and he discarded them. But here's something amazing I do want to say. God has a wonderful way of getting his word across. Because after this had all happened, the Lord spoke again to Jeremiah and said, OK, you and Baruch, you've got to write that again. All the prophecy you wrote down that was rejected, that was burned, you've got to write it down again. Why? Because God's word will keep hammering away. Even when we reject it, God sends his word again and again and again. And the wonderful thing is that even when we've not heard it the first time, God sends it a second time and a third time to us. He is a God of grace and he's a God of mercy. Even when the word seems a hard word, even when we feel that, that, that God's not talking to us and saying to us what we want to hear, it's still important that we understand that God speaks his word to us out of compassion and we need to receive his word and we need to act upon his word 
in Jesus' name. May that be your experience today. Thank you for joining us for today's Take 5, and please join us again uh, tomorrow for your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.